Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and today's discussion video is going to be about DPS. A DPS stands for damage per second. It means exactly what it sounds like, how much damage you can do per second. If you're rocking a setup with 10 DPS while fighting Commander Zilliana, she has 255 health, so it takes you just over 25 seconds on average to get the kill. Now this can still vary, of course, each kill is going to be different, but with enough kills, you're going to average out to whatever your DPS tends to be. And knowing your exact DPS, knowing that you're hitting 10 or 10.1 right on the dot, that really does not matter. Matter that much it's not that big of a deal to know what your DPS is necessarily it's more like when trying to upgrade gear and deciding between different attacks and, and weapon styles and whatnot you can check your DPS to give you a good answer of like which gear setup is going to be better than another gear setup in this video I'm gonna go over the basics of DPS we're gonna first check out a DPS calculator in the works just to give some good examples of comparing certain gear setups against certain bosses and whatnot once we've checked that out I'm gonna break down what factors into DPS a little bit more so we're gonna be talking about accuracy max hits and your weapon speed and I'll be giving a little bit of a breakdown on each of these categories and how they affect your DPS this is not meant to be like an in-depth guide on DPS necessarily my goal in this video is to give you a solid rundown on the basics of DPS for anybody that doesn't know exactly what it is whenever they hear that term at this point, we already mentioned that it stands for damage per second. It's pretty much just players talking about which weapons and gear is going to be better than other weapons and gears. So if that's enough information for you, you probably could just close out in the video. But uh, let's let's dive a little bit more in depth. Before we look at the DPS calculator, let's talk about how attacking works in this game real quick. When you attack a monster, the game first checks if you hit or miss. This is based on your accuracy and your opponent's defense levels. We're going to break down that a little bit more in the accuracy section. If you miss, then your character just hits a zero. But if you hit, the game will roll from zero to your max hit to see how much damage you do now this still includes zero for this hit roll so you can successfully land an attack and still hit a zero which is fairly annoying the higher your max hit is the less of a chance that this happens the only other factor for your DPS is how fast your weapon is obviously if you have the exact same accuracy and max hit with two different weapons but one of those weapons is faster than the other then the faster weapon is going to be better DPS let's go ahead and see the calculator in action as long as you plug in your gear into a calculator like we're looking at here you don't really have to know Know anything about how DPS works the calculator will just give you all the numbers that you need the more you know about how DPS works the more you can mess around with the calculator to be able to test out different setups but overall the calc is going to do all of the work for you the calculator that I'm currently using will be linked in the description you do need to save the online version of the Google Sheet to edit your own but that's really only like two clicks away once you save like an offline version to your own Google Sheets you can use this to test really any setup against any monster so very simply if you just type in all your attack stats here you put in whatever gear you have into one of these setups and then you put whatever monster that you were fighting up here um, it's gonna spit out a number for you showing how much damage you do so the two setups we're looking at here we get two more damage per second from this Tebow with max gear than we would crystal armor on Jad uh, I don't think anybody was wondering if Tebow was worse or better than crystal armor and a Bofa but you can see the comparison here let's go over what is affecting this not only the armor uh, for one I want you to see this visual if you had well, let's go down a range since we're using a range example you have 99 range you a ranging potion let's go ahead and turn off this prayer real quick you'll see that your range is actually at 112 out of 99 now in game if you sip a ranging potion with 99 prayer or 99 range excuse me uh, it is going to put you to 112 range and then when you turn on rigor or this would be eagle eye right here when you turn on any of these in game your level doesn't actually look like it goes up it still says 112 but here's what's actually happening when it goes to calculate your effective range level it has it up to 130 so like if you've ever been 99 attack and you sipped a super attack potion you'll notice that it actually puts you at 118 out of 99 and it'll only show 118 out of 99 even if you turn on piety but it's still it's calculating rather a 141 attack or in this case what we're staring at here for range a 134 range so your potions and your prayers do affect your stats pretty heavily here and then from there all this is doing is taking your accuracy and your strength bonuses from each item adding them up down at the bottom and then plugging them into the formulas that we're going to talk about a little more in a little bit you can see things like if I change from rapid to accurate here we go from 7.1 DPS down to 5.7 so it changes it uh, changes it pretty quickly lets you know what's the big mistakes here let's go ahead and see like what if I was using my twisted bow and I only wanted to use adamant arrows we go from 9.1 all the way down to 7.6 DPS so still max range gear with adamant arrows is gonna be better on Jad than Bofa with nearly max range gear uh, there's a lot of different things you can mess around with we keep going over here we have it plugs in all these stats for us for your enemy if I picked a different enemy than Jad let's put in a Baron Spectre you'll see all these change real quick so uh, if you if the monster you're looking for isn't in the calculator yet, you could just put all their stats in here yourself if you like uh, if you checked it with monster examine or if you went and checked the wiki or anything like that. 
but generally just clicking on a monster is going to fill in all the monster's stats here. You could do things like, let's say I hit it with uh, two Dragon Warhammer specs real quick. We, we went from 7.63 back up to 9.1. Yeah, so if we do that with like Dragon Arrows, you can see that we're going to probably be up over 10 DPS, 11 DPS at this point because those Dragon Warhammers dropped its defense so much. There's BGS in here. We got Arc Light stuff. This is like vulnerability in here. You can see if you hover over it, it gives you some more information too. So there's a lot of stuff in here. There's even some leagues multipliers over here that we had in the past. You see your prayer drain, how much damage you're likely to take. Shows your damage per second as your potions slowly like dwindle off. Because when you drink a ranging potion, you'll be up to 112 range. But a minute later, it'll drop you down to 111. Unless, of course, you're using the divine ranging potion. And pretty much anything you should need to potentially do damage. You can check off a box or you can type it in in this calculator, which is now linked in the description. And it'll give you an idea of how much damage per second you're doing. Again, like, in my opinion, like, if I was about to fight Jad, if I was doing 11.0 damage per second, or we put Runa arrows in there, excuse me, and it goes down to 10.43, this exact number to me doesn't mean nearly as much as just knowing, like, how much it improved. Like, going from Rune to Dragon Arrows, we went from 10.43 up to over 11, so 0. 0.6 DPS. Uh, is actually a pretty significant difference from uh, almost 10 to 11 is, is a fairly good jump. So knowing that I'm right at 11, I don't really care much about, but knowing that I'm almost 3 DPS above this other setup, like, it, it, this is really nice for comparisons, in other words. This is a pretty updated uh, DPS calculator too. As you can see, I re-downloaded this one 10 days ago at this point, but it even has like the path multipliers in here already from Tombs of a Masket. Uh, again, I've linked this DPS calculator in the description. We kind of talk about the DPS calculator for a while. If you have any questions about boxes that I haven't checked out or anything, or anything that I didn't talk about with the DPS calculator, let me know in the comments section below. But let's get back into the explaining of how DPS works. Let's go ahead and break down accuracy a little bit more. There's two main things being checked to decide how accurate are. That's your accuracy and your opponent's defense. Each of those factors does break down into two different numbers, though. Let's first talk about your own accuracy. The higher your attack level is, the more accurate you're going to be. That is only for melee, though. Your range level is going to affect your range accuracy, and your magic level is going to affect your magic accuracy. We're going to stick to the melee example for right now, so it's your attack level that is increasing your accuracy. Also, boosts to your attack level are going to increase your accuracy. So if you sip a super attack, potion it pushes your attack level a little bit higher and then using a prayer like incredible reflexes or piety also increases your attack level now you don't actually see the boost from the prayers like you would when you sip a potion but those invisible boosts are still there as i showed you in the dps calc section you also have equipment stats that affect your accuracy you can check your equipment stats in game by clicking on worn equipment and then clicking on view equipment stats you'll notice that there are three different styles for melee we have stab slash and crush if you go over to your combat tab you hover over which of your attack options you have here you can see that all the attack styles that you could be using unfortunately this information is not shown on mobile so you'd have to like check the wiki to see which thing does which for certain weapons hopefully they add this little menu to mobile kind of soon though currently for this example i'm using the abyssal tentacle which is a good slash weapon so we've set it to the slash attack style and that means the only number that we care about for our equipment stats for accuracy is the slash bonus up here the stab bonus crush bonus range and mage those don't matter since we're not using those attack styles so for the game to decide your attack roll like how accurate you are it takes both your attack level and this accuracy uh stat into exception so it first takes your effective attack level that's your attack level plus the potions plus your prayers or any other boost you could have on that level and then it multiplies it by your equipment stats plus 64. after that you would also have to take into account any equipment bonuses you might have like the salve amulet or the slayer helm or void armor but i'm really not looking to go into more depth on it than just that i, I just wanted to show you that multiple uh, things are taking into account to accuracy it's your attack level and your equipment stats they are multiplied together they squeeze that extra little 64 in there but it doesn't matter too much knowing that exact number just be aware that both of those things do make you more accurate to decide if you're accurate enough to hit your opponent, the game also has to decide with your opponent's defense. This exact formula does depend on whether or not you're fighting an NPC or another player. NPCs have a set defense level. It's not like they use potions for temporary boosts or prayers like piety to increase their defense. So the defensive role, it works similar to like your accuracy role, but uh, if you're doing against another player, it is going to work differently. We're going to be giving uh, an NPC example here. When fighting an NPC, it will take the NPC's defense levels plus nine and then multiply it by the 
the NPC's style defense plus 64. Again, knowing this exact number does not really matter much. The DPS calc is going to handle that for you. Let's take a look at Nex's defensive stats real quick. You see a lot of different defensive stats here, so it might be confusing at first. Nex's defense level is 260, so that's the first number that we see in the formula here, that plus 9 and this mystery number. And then for the style defense, that depends on what attack style you are using. So my attack, for example, earlier was slash, which means for Nex, if we were looking at this, we would plug the slash defense for the second number. And plus 140 slash is pretty solid. So if we were instead using a stab weapon, you could lower that defensive roll pretty significantly. This is why stab weapons are very good at Nex. In general, you can see here why it's best to use the weapon that a monster has the worst defense on. It gets a much worse defensive roll. And then after the game takes a look at your attack roll and your opponent's defense roll, it plugs them into a different formula depending on which number is larger. I don't think we really need to break that down there. I just, I, I just want to point out what things affect your accuracy and what things affect your opponent's defense. Now, there are a lot of other things that can affect your accuracy by messing with these numbers. Let's say a Dragon Warhammer or a BGS special attack is going to lower your opponent's defense, making them, making you more accurate. And there's also items that give accuracy bonuses. The Tebow gains accuracy based on your opponent's magic levels. If they have higher magic, you're going to be more accurate. And the Osmumpton's Fang, the new sword, it rolls twice every time for accuracy. It's also worth mentioning that magic defense works differently. So you take, I'm pretty sure, 70% of magic defense level, or magic level, and 30% of defense level, and Instead of just taking the defense level when you roll like your opponent's defensive roll. In other words, I'm trying to say there's a lot of if, ands, and buts for accuracy on the dot, which is why it's best just to throw the numbers into the DPS calc whenever you're confused on what is going to be better. But hopefully that was a good rundown on what exactly is affecting your accuracy. Now let's go ahead and talk about max hits. Remember, once the game decides that you have a successful hit, it rolls from zero to your max hit to see how much damage you did, which means that you can still hit a zero even if you were like 100% accurate, which is not necessarily fun, but the higher your max hit is, the less zeros you are going to see there. Your max hit is based off of your strength rather than your attack, so a higher strength level is going to increase your melee max hit. Your range level is going to increase your range max hit, and then your magic level will only increase your magic max hit for certain magic weapons. Regular magic spells have a set max hit, while weapons like the Trident or the Sanguine SD Staff, even the new Tumekin Shadow, they do get a little bit stronger as you level up. Magic is a strange attack style though, so it doesn't always follow the rules perfectly. For our example here, we're still going to be focused on the melee life, so your strength level does increase your max hit. And for your equipment stats, they can also affect your max hit in the same way that we saw with accuracy. As you can see in the equipment stats, we do have strength bonuses down here. So this actually works similar to accuracy, it just multiplies the two different strength numbers we have. So you would have to take your effective strength level, which is going to be your strength level plus like a super strength potion if you sipped it, or even if you have piety turned on. Whatever that number is, you would then multiply it by your equipment strength bonus plus 64 again. That plus 64 is kind of a weird one, but it is in there. You then apparently would add 320, divide the number by 640 round down from there, then add your other equipment bonuses like the salve amulet and whatnot. Uh, like I was saying before, I'm not trying to really break down the exact formula for this. I'm just hoping that you can see that both your strength level and your equipment strength bonuses are going to make a difference in your max hit. You can also make a combat dummy in your house to go ahead and test your max hit. You can even upgrade the combat dummy to an undead combat dummy to test your salve amulet and your slayer helm max hits. For any equipment setup, in general, you want to have as high of a strength bonus as possible. Even range strength or mage strength, depending on what attack style you're using, you want to have higher strength. A bigger max hit is going to be good for you. But we're sticking to melee for this example. Generally, every four strength levels on your equipment is going to increase your max hit by one. If you upgrade a piece of equipment to get more strength, let's say you get two more strength out of a piece of equipment, but it doesn't actually increase your max hit by one because you didn't quite reach that threshold, then those strength levels are technically kind of worthless. So when making upgrades for a strength bonus, it is worthwhile to check if that actually gained a max hit for you or not. Certain combinations of armor will be required to gain a max hit, since upgrades may only get you one or two strength bonus and you kind of need generally four per max hit. Just like with accuracy, there are some weapons and gear that have their own special effect on max hits. For example, we go back to the, the Osmumpton's Fang from uh, Tombs of a Masket. Instead of rolling between 0 and your max hit, the Osmumpton's Fang actually increases minimum hit by 15% and decreases max by 15%. So if your max hit with the Fang was going to be a 60, you're instead going to roll from a 9 to a 51 instead of a 0 to a 60. So not every scenario is the exact same, but again, hopefully this was a good rundown on how max hit works. And if you really want your exact numbers on like the equipment that you're using, you could always just use a DPS calc. Knowing these formulas is not required. Lastly, let's get back to that weapon speed 
speed conversation. This is a pretty straightforward point. If your weapon attacks more often, then that's good for DPS. Everything in this game runs by game ticks. They are 0.6 seconds long. In other words, there are 100 ticks per minute. So if you're using a weapon that attacks every four ticks, like an Abyssal Whip or a Dragon Dagger, you can attack 25 times per minute. I think the most important note about weapon speed, though, is that you want to make sure you're never slowing your weapon down if you can avoid it. An easy example of how this would happen is like when you eat food. Whenever you eat a piece of food, you get a small cooldown for attacking. So you'll notice that you'll be attacking every four ticks. If you eat a piece of food and then begin to attack again, it's going to take a couple of extra ticks for that attack to come out. Now, two ticks doesn't really seem like a lot, but if you're doing this consistently, then you're really changing your weapon from a four to a six tick weapon, which is 50% less DPS. It is important to have good timing with your weapons so that you know that you're always attacking. Trying to move in between hits or sipping potions and then hitting so that you don't slow yourself down, it can make a very big difference on your damage if you just constantly attack. So when you plug in all of your stats into a DPS calc and it gives you that number for DPS, that number is assuming that you're constantly attacking. Anytime that you miss an attack because you were running away or eating or maybe switching gear and you're going a little bit too slow, that means that your DPS is being lowered a little bit. In general, what we've talked about here really just describes all the basics that you need to know about DPS. We got accuracy, max hit, and weapon speed. Uh, the game first checks your accuracy compared to the opponent's defense, then if you hit, you get zero to max hit on the roll to see how much damage you do, and then of course when you take into account how fast the weapon is, some weapons like a blowpipe still have pretty good DPS even though they don't max out at a ton of damage and their accuracy is fairly low at this point. Now we didn't really dive deep into actually calculating like the last steps of a lot of DPS, we just showed you the basics of the formula and then kind of jumped from there. That's because I showed you that the DPS calculator can do all that for you, it's a little bit ridiculous to actually memorize those formulas and just plug your own stuff in instead of using the calculator and of course there's also items with unique effects on accuracy and max hit the two easiest examples with the tebow and the osmumpton's fang but tumekin's shadow is also a pretty unique item in how it does max hit and accuracy they, even with simpler items like the salve amulet or the black mask changing up what your dps is uh, it can be a little complicated to sit down and make sure you get every factor on your own if you try to calculate it yourself so uh, the DPS conversation can be even longer, but uh, this has just been trying to break down the basics pretty well here, and I, I hope I did that for you. If you have any questions or comments about the basics of DPS, then go ahead and continue this discussion below in the comments section. At this point, it's kind of a one-sided discussion. It was almost a, a beginner's DPS guide. I almost labeled this as a guide rather than a discussion, but... Uh, I don't know, it didn't feel quite like a guide as much as it did just a DPS discussion video. If you enjoyed the video or you just got some useful information out of it, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I do stream on Twitch, which should be linked on the screen and in the description. I am also on Twitter and have a Discord, which should both be linked in the description. Thanks again for watching this discussion video about DPS, everybody, and best of luck on your grinds.